We're here with uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., number 47 Sunny D Chevy Camaro car, going to be out at Circuit of the Americas. This is exciting, uh, I'm sure, for you guys coming out here to uh, race on the circuit, uh, road course. How do you prepare for this compared to other races? Uh, road courses are tricky, and especially uh, Coda, uh, Circuit of the Americas is, you know, one of the racetracks that, you know, there's a, a few blind corners. There's a lot of corners. Uh, it's a big racetrack, and uh, trying to get your rhythm down is important. And, you know, we didn't really have good rhythm there last time we were there, hoping for, you know, a little bit better weather uh, this this time around. But, you know, for me, uh, a lot of time in the simulator, um, can laps and trying to get our setup as close as we can before we get there on race weekend. And then, you know, once we're there, go out and, and make some solid laps and practice and, and just get kind of, like I said, your rhythm down and, and, and more timing, um, especially through the first part of the racetrack where uh, a lot of corners are back to back. It's, it's a tricky place, but uh, we're all looking forward to getting there. And, uh, and like I said, uh, we all hope we have better weather because it was kind of crazy last time we were there. It was absolutely crazy last year. Yeah, hoping for better weather. I think we're supposed to have better better weather. So that's going to be exciting for race day. And how do these new next-gen cars help on maybe a road course? I think the, the next-gen cars are definitely geared more towards a road course style race car. It's been tricky on the ovals, as a lot of people have seen. We've had, we've had our fair share of issues, uh, you know, keeping the cars going straight. But, you know, I think for us, the brakes are a lot better. Uh, the shifting is a lot easier for a road course. Uh, the tire width uh, and size is, is you know, beneficial for a road course. We've only done one road course test at, at Charlotte, and I think everybody was really happy with it. So hopefully, you know, it'll be uh, a better race uh, than, than what we already already put on on the road courses. I feel like that's some of our most exciting racing. But, you know, this year so far, every race, on our schedule has been really good and, and exciting and, and battling for leads and, and the wins and, uh, and all the way through the field. So it is, it's geared more towards a, a road course. So I think it's going to be a good racing. Absolutely. What are you guys looking forward to about coming to Austin, coming to circuit of the Americas? Yeah, I think uh, just, you know, cool venue. Uh, you look at how many people came out last year with all the rain that was in the forecast and, and, and even raining on race day. And, you know, we still had a lot of fans showing up and, and the excitement around the event. And so I think we're all looking forward to, you know, giving them a, a better show, hopefully with, with better weather and, um, you know, getting to, you know, see the fans more and hang out with them now that uh, everything's almost really kind of back to normal. So we're looking forward to that. I don't think the fans got in Austin area, got like the full NASCAR experience, uh, you know, with the way everything was. So, we're looking forward to that. And then obviously, I mean, anytime you can get to Austin, good food, good music. And um, if you have any time to, to go do that. Absolutely. Always a good time here. With that being said, is, is Austin a good NASCAR city? What are your thoughts on, on Austin becoming an annual stop for NASCAR down the road? I think Texas in general is a, is a good place for NASCAR. Uh, got a lot of good you know, loyal NASCAR fans and, you know, definitely our fan base. Obviously, I think the city of Austin is a little bit different than than maybe the rest of Texas. But, you know, I think looking at how many people showed up last year and, you know, what they do for, you know, other events at the racetrack, everybody shows up and, and supports the racetrack, whether it be, it looks like concerts or festivals or, uh, you know, Formula One or, or our races. Uh, people come out and, and support the facility, which I think is very important. We have a fun pre-race concert from Midland. So that's going to be exciting for race fans and probably for you guys too. Are you looking forward to that? I have not seen Midland uh, in person, so I'm a big fan. Uh, it'll be cool to uh, hopefully work in my schedule where I can get out and, and listen to him for a little while. So uh, definitely excited about that. And, you know, again, that's another good perk of coming to Austin, getting good music. Uh, at the racetrack so fans you know we've had you know good entertainment throughout the year and you know that's just another good element absolutely so when uh the portion of the interview airs that i was talking about earlier that i'm gonna uh, tape after this longer formatted portion i'm gonna be cooking live from my kitchen that morning making nascar snacks and things like that so i i, I gotta know what's your kind of like race day routine do you have specific, right. like healthy snacks something like that that you're into on race day 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Do you want to do it like right now? Well, yeah, you can tell me, you can tell me about it now and then we'll take that in, in another, in another version. Okay. Um, yeah, our, my kind of race day is I get up in the mornings and I'll either have uh, kind of like a lighter breakfast, uh, egg whites and, you know, some turkey sausage or uh, some protein oatmeal, something along those lines. Um, obviously got to wash it down with a Sunny D, especially <laughs> Sunny D race weekend uh, here at, at Coda. So uh, that's a big one for breakfast. And then for lunch, I keep it pretty light, uh, but I like to get some protein in. So I'll eat normally like some grilled chicken. Uh, either like zucchini or squash and, and a little bit of rice. So, um, you know, in all weekend, definitely hydrating up to the race. So those are kind of like my race day kind of keys that I do. And um, I like to chew gum during the race. So uh, I'll have that before the race. When, when I first started running, I had to chew gum. So I don't know, maybe it makes people go fast, but um, that might be it. <laughs> What's in the protein oatmeal? Uh, I'll use some almond butter with it. Um, and then just, you know, add some protein or, or get protein oatmeal from the store. So, uh, I like kind of maple brown sugar, um, you know, blueberry or strawberry, but then add some almond butter to it. Okay. Cause I'm likely going to put some sort of twist on what you're saying here and make Love a that. from it. Yeah. So All stay right. Send tuned. it to me. Stay tuned for that. Um, because when I talked to Midland earlier this week, I was asking them what they're going to eat on race day. And they said like extremely loaded hot dogs. So I'm going to do like one indulgent recipe, some hot dogs. Hopefully to after their it. performance. I don't, I meant it. I thought about that afterwards. I was like thinking, surely they're going to eat that after. I don't know. He said Coors Light and a loaded hot dog. It was Mark. <laughs> um, but so that will likely be one recipe. And then we'll have some protein oatmeal of some sort. So um, yes, stay perfect. tuned for that. But um Let's see a couple other questions here before we take that short little interview. Um, 20 turns coming to Austin. You, you talked on a little sunny D car. You know, what, what is your message to fans to come out for those who have never seen NASCAR before to come see what this is all about? Well, I think NASCAR has done a really good job this year of, you know, making it a full entertainment weekend, whether you can make it on, you know, just Saturday or, you know, the full weekend with concerts and events around the track, uh, you know, us drivers are now, you know, back to normal going out, doing appearances outside of the racetrack, being able to, you know, get closer to fans. And uh, so for sure, fans that have, have never been to a, a NASCAR race, it's, it's a really easy sport to, you know, meet some of the athletes and, and drivers. So, you know, I think that's a, a cool um, aspect of our sport. Literally, you know, 10 minutes before we go race, you know, you might be getting an autograph or, or getting a picture with uh, one of us drivers, which I think is very unique to our sport. And uh, the racing is going to be incredible. Uh, like you said, 20 turns. It's a big racetrack. There's action all over. And, and you can kind of, I think if I was a fan walking around and, and just seeing different corners of the, the racetrack would be really fun. Absolutely. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Number 47, Sunny D Chevy Camaro. Thanks for chatting with us. Not a problem. Thank you.